Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today I've got a little tip for teachers. It's something a little bit special that I hope will help you with your classes. Now, if you've been teaching true bearings, compass bearings, or even points on the compass with your primary classes all the way through from primary to grade 12, you might be wanting a little brain break or a game that you can play with your students to consolidate what they've learned. Well, in this particular game, which I call the true bearings game, I actually get my students to stand and face the back wall as they face the back wall which is a great way to do it because then you're facing the same direction as them I tell them that the back wall is north and then the idea is is that I call out instructions to those students and they have to turn and face the direction that I call out so I might call out 30 degrees true and they have to move as quickly as they can to face 30 degrees true from the back wall which is north now if you're with primary school you probably just want to focus on things like north south east west or even northeast southeast that sort of instruction if you're moving into high school you can move on to compass bearings in grade 9 and 10 and get them to face 30 degree, um, north 30 degrees west or just north northwest or something like that and then as they've learned about true bearings you can add compass bearings and true bearings and play it together the idea is that the person that is the slowest is knocked out and also anyone that gets it wrong is knocked out. Now often what I find too is students that get knocked out early can become a little bit disengaged. So it's a great idea to get those students to come up the front and help you judge. And then the person who finishes last, they are our champion for true bearings. Now I often will play this after I've taught true bearings at either, it's either a consolidation exercise or even the next time that I see the class to refresh what they've learned. It's a great revision activity, great way for a little brain break and also a great way to get students visually and physically to get engaged in bearings. Well, I hope this trip tip has been really helpful for you today. I'm Natalie McClatchy. Have a wonderful day.